will take a different path. Ukrainian general named the prerequisites for liberation of Crimea. The former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, General Nikolai Malomuz, said that only a comprehensive and simultaneous attack on the enemy in the direction of Crimea will make it possible to liberate the occupied peninsula. First of all, in order to start a new strategy for waging war, which the enemy does not expect, and this is a new art, the command must set tasks in this way, not only traditionally protecting borders, individual directions and destroying reserves, this is a very important task today. But the most important thing is a change in the strategy, not a storm, the teeth of a dragon, as we had in 2023 but quickly when the enemy is not expecting it. And one scenario, without deciphering it in general, is breaking through the Southern Corridor, he said, on the Espresso TV channel. The general noted that Ukrainian defenders already hold a bridgehead on the left bank of the Dnieper River in the Kherson region. In his opinion, at the same time, it is necessary to deploy powerful groups to dislodge the enemy. Complex strikes, but only complex ones, these are F-16s with strikes on all objects on the territory of Crimea and on the Isthmus. These are strikes by missile systems of both foreign and our production, our aviation in combination with the F-16, long-range artillery systems and actions on the territory of Crimea. Malomuz said he believes that these should be landings of special operations forces, airborne troops, special forces of the main intelligence directorate, SBU and sabotage at night. This will happen instantly within a few hours, which will create, I will say, Armageddon for the enemy throughout the entire territory of Crimea on all logistics routes and on all bridges. This is a prerequisite for real liberation and not to partially bite into the defense. This is futile. Such tactics are for us. Russia is imposing and we will go the other way. Summed up Nikolai Malamuz. Germany permits Ukraine to strike up to 40 kilometers inside Russian territory. Build. Germany has authorized the Ukrainian defense forces to launch strikes on Russian territory. At the same time, the radius of destruction is quite small. Build reports. According to Build, German weapons for strikes against Russian territory can be used only in the Kharkiv region. Together with our closest allies and in close dialogue with the Ukrainian government, we are constantly adapting our support to the evolution of the war, says German government spokesperson Stefan Hebestreit. In recent weeks, Russia has prepared, coordinated and carried out attacks from positions in the Kharkiv area, in particular from the directly adjacent Russian border region, he said. Ukraine has the right, guaranteed under international law, to defend itself against these attacks, he added. To do so, it can use the weapons supplied for this purpose in accordance with its international legal obligations, including those supplied by us. In recent days, Chancellor Olaf Scholz has underscored Ukraine's right to defend itself by striking targets inside Russia in accordance with international law, but has remained vague on whether Berlin had given Ukraine permission to use German-provided weapons to do so. Scholz has so far refused to send Ukraine its long-range Taurus cruise missiles, which could be used to strike deep into Russian territory, arguing it could bring Germany into direct confrontation with Russia. But Germany has provided other weapon systems that could potentially be used to strike targets inside Russia near the city of Kharkiv. Two German weapons systems are being considered for strikes on Russia. Panzer Hobbit's 2000 self-propelled howitzer, Mars 2 armored multiple launch rocket system. The radius within which the Ukrainian armed forces can strike with German weapons on Russian territory is small. The maximum area of damage to targets abroad is no more than 40 kilometers, Build adds. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, the West has been actively helping Ukraine with weapons, but on the condition that Kyiv does not strike at Russian territory. Recently, more and more allies have begun to reconsider their policies in this regard.